Hi, it's Andrea from Envision Partnership. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to save time when you're raising sales invoices or adding bills to Xero. If you don't use it already, the Xero app could change your life. And if that sounds a little bit over the top, it could at least save you some precious time. So let's take a look. We're heading to the Xero app. Now this is the main page and we're going to look at adding sales invoices and bills to the Xero app. So to add a sales invoice, we click on the plus sign and create invoice. We click on who is it for and it brings up all the details that are already stored in Xero. So we'll go for ABC furniture. Dated today, but you can change that. You can change the payment date and it automatically picks up the next invoice number for you. We can then click on add an item. If you have lists of services or products in Xero, you can select that and we'll choose golf balls. And you'll see all the details are added in for you already. You can then click done if you're finished or add another item. And we're going to enter a new description of something we don't have in Xero already. So we'll enter a new description. And we'll do yellow golf balls. And done. It automatically categorizes it to sales and you just need to fill in the details. We will say the price was 10 pounds. You can then carry on adding as many items as you need to or click done. And that's your invoice done. You can then click save. And the quickest way to deal with it is to send it straight to your client. And the email comes up with all the details and we can just click send. If you didn't want to send it straight away, you could just save it. To add a bill is very similar. We click on the plus icon and add bill. Who was it from? We'll put WH Smiths. I bought some paper. And it was dated today. I can change that as you can see. And then I'll categorize it to stationery. Then I just need to add the price. And here I can attach files. So I can take a photograph of the receipt that I have and it stores it safely in zero. And then I click save and approve. And that's the bill saved into zero, all ready to be matched up in your bank account when you reconcile it. And that's how we add sales invoices and purchases to zero.